Hey y'all, this is Lady T ZCD coming back at y'all with a video. Happy Friday, y'all. Thanks for stopping in and watching my channel. So I have a guest, as you can see, Zori is here, and we're gonna do a mom and daughter tag. Now I want her to do this before she go back to school uh on next Tuesday. So she said she would, and let's get into this tag. All right, let's go. So this is just like an update updated tag. Some of these questions that we asked last time. Way back when I was... Uh, the last like, time we did a mom and daughter tag, she was a freshman. And yeah. so now she is... What What are you now? i be a junior. Next year. Well, on Tuesday. Well, on Tuesday. A she's a junior, you guys. So mm -hmm. we're going to jump in the tag, and then we have some personal stuff we're going to catch up, catch you guys on, up on at the end. Okay. How old were you when you had me? I was... um. I, oh shoot! I was old. I was older. I was uh, twenty six. I'm sorry, thirty six. That was I got married at thirty six. Thirty six. Okay. <laughs> I was thirty six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant with me? Well, her, uh, by you know because I was thirty six, they always try to put you in a high risk category. So I was considered I had a high risk pregnancy. So therefore, um, it meant more doctor visits and all that good stuff so yeah they watch watch me pretty closely can you think of any good things that you enjoyed while you're pregnant with me oh i, I always enjoyed the eating part of it <laughs> <laughs> i was able to eat you know and uh i just enjoyed that part and i knew i enjoyed the fact that you know once i found out i was having a girl because i already had a boy so i was just uh, just enjoy just going look at the little girl stuff and all that so yeah i'm gonna skip would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it um you know what with my first child i had a cesarean i had a cesarean with her but i wouldn't change anything because i actually went through the uh water breaking up you know my water broke and all that stuff so i didn't get a chance to do that with my first child so i experienced the whole nine with her, even though at the end I had to have, uh, have I had to have a cesarean, but I I like that part that I did experience all of that. Okay, what is the hardest thing about being a mom? Uh, how you know you work so hard and raise them to be a, a great or uh, um, you know a, a good person in society where they can give back and an honest person, a God fearing person, and then you know when they grow up they I lose all that. <laughs> That took a left turn. That took a left turn. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. I'm just kidding, y'all. Um, you know, they pull at your heart string. They're going to always be your child regardless how old they are. So, yes, that's something that I have to deal with. Um. <laughs> What's the most rewarding thing about being a mom? Uh, that you have, you receive unconditional love regardless of, you know, who you are, who you may think you are, you know, mentally in your head. You know how we go through all these changes. But you always, for me, with my situation, with my kids, have unconditional love. I do know they love me and support me. Um, what is the best memory you've had with me? Oh, man, I have had so many memories with Zoe. By her being my only girl, my first, my last. I've enjoyed her tremendously. She's like a mini me, but she has her own personality. Twins. So um, we do a lot of things together. So I can't just pinpoint out the cheerleading, the you know, just the whole dressing of her, dance, the dance, the whole all the girly stuff that I I enjoy with her. So yes. Um, what is your most exciting milestone? Mine. Well, with well, I with guess you? with me. Um, to see her, you know. Enter into college and graduate from high school, enter into college, and now recently be, um, becoming a, a member of the dean's list in college. So, yeah. Made it. Yeah. Those are milestones. Wonderful milestones. What is the worst thing I've ever done? Do we have to go into that? <laughs> That's a question. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Next. Crickets. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even think it was that bad. What's what were you gonna say? Uh uh, no. Go ahead. What habit do you wish that I didn't have? Uh, not cleaning your room up. <laughs> do do we have to go back to that? 
Oh, let's see. No, her clean is completely different from anybody same. else's okay. clean. Go look at the other video. Like, you know, she didn't clean in the cleanness area as well as keeping her room clean. Uh, All right, move on. Um, what do you share similarities with me, both physical and personality? What do we have in common, physical and personality? Physical, mm -hmm. we look just like. Well, so people say. Yeah, they say we look alike, but I think she look more like her dad. But um, sometimes she look at me, she <laughs> be standing up there, I'm talking to her, she be looking just like me sometimes. So it goes back and forth, but um, she she have my height. I'm five eight. She's five seven. She's done drawing. She has height. Oh, we have height that runs in the family, but she has my height. She has my complexion. She don't has. She doesn't have a father's complexion. And uh, she's a chocolate chip. Yes. And. Uh, <laughs> You know, she's very emotional. She's caring, just like I am. Sensitive, just like I am at times. I've grown out of it a little bit as I got older. But, yeah, you know, I see a lot of similarities. Where would you like to see me in the next 10 years? i like to see her uh, with her master's. The next 10? Yeah. Okay. Your master's. Your, uh, I don't know if you're going to go for your um, PhD or not. That's iffy, but she's definitely going to go for her master's. So with her master's, uh, hopefully married, mm -hmm. and enjoying her life, Travel has traveled, mm -hmm. has settled down, has purchased, you know, a home or, you know, with her husband or what have you, those type of things. I just wish wonderful and blessings upon her. What is something that I have taught you? She has taught me things that I taught her that which came back around to me. <laughs> You know, not not be not to be so sensitive all the time. I take things since I be you know I might take it personal things that my loved ones may say or not do, or you know I take it personal meaning to say I'm you know I had to stop doing it because I know they still love me and what have you. So uh, those things that she's taught me, she taught me as well to uh, you know stop saying I'm fat. Yeah. You know, and I I it's so funny because it's a circle of life because I made sure she had a great you know, uh, body image complex coming up, making sure she didn't, you know, get off into that. And here I am. She's now returning that back to me uh, as I've gotten older, not to beat myself up so much about my 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 uh, body image and what have you. So it's just like, wow, you know, I can't believe it. I've been, I mean, you know, I've been listening. I'm listening. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what she's taught me. It says, did you imagine that you'd be... A mom, I guess, with me, with a daughter. I kind of figure I would because most people, you know, that knew my mom or what have you, they said that, you know, she had a boy and a girl, and it was most likely I was going to have a boy and a girl, too. We had my boy first and then have a daughter. I knew I wasn't going to have a whole bunch of kids. I ain't cut out to help y'all. <laughs> so, am I lying? No. So, I knew I wasn't going to, you know, so I, when I had her, I was the, it was a wrap. But I kind of want, still, would want a younger, like, brother. Yeah. So. We're going to work on that. Get your dog. Go on. Describe me in a <laughs> describe me in a single sentence. This is a good one. A sin a single a single what? single sentence. Yeah. Caring. Mom, that's a word. I'm not Okay, she is caring. <laughs> she is um that's two sentences. No, one caring, sentence. Outgoing. A go getter. N not gonna take too much crap off off of you, mm -hmm. right? And she's sensitive. The end. Okay. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? Deep. Oh, has how have I changed as a person? I've changed for the better. That's for sure. Cause you know. Trina back in the day. <laughs> we don't want to know. We don't want to know. I've changed tremendously. And I uh, always have them on my heart. God fearing. I always paint, praying for them. And I always putting them first. I always nurturing, nurturing, nurturing. No, no matter how old they get, yeah. how, how, you know, far away they are. Continuously nurturing. And uh, I always put them first before I put myself in my feelings. Mm -hmm. So that we done? Yep. Oh my gosh. That was deep, y'all. That was deep. You like it? Yeah. I thought she you were crying. No, no. no. 
She wanted to do those questions, y'all, because she wanted to learn about a lot of answers yeah. for, of those questions. So yeah, I, I wanted to know the answer you, for some of the questions. You all right with those answers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are true. What else we want to talk about? So, we're going to talk about you going back to school. Yeah, I'm going back to school Tuesday. I'm going to be um, in my own apartment off campus with some roommates. And that's going to be my first time off campus. So, I'm excited about that. I'm ready to go. I love y'all, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> me and and, you say you love me and your dad. Yeah. How has it been? How has it been being in a house again? This go round with nice. your mom and dad, and you're older now. How has that been a challenge, or has it been a challenge? Uh, let's get real. <laughs> let's get real. Um, I think it's always a challenge because you are older. You gotta transform back to being like under your parents but I love being at home like if I could be at home I would even at school I'm just like I want to go home so but just being under like rules and you're not really on your schedule you're kind of on theirs that's the difficult part and you gotta you know do chores and stuff ain't nothing changed uh, <laughs> but no I respect thing. the fact that she's older and uh she is a young adult and so we do give a leeway on a lot of a lot of things yeah. yet that young adults should have at this point because she has been away. She has, you know, been on her own and stuff. And some things, you know, we still have to maintain because you're in your parents' home and you have to respect some rooms as well. So it's a balance. It's, a, it's definitely a balance. I'm okay with a lot of things where her dad, you know, he's... What's your dad like about some things? Straight. Crickets. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're both straight, but... Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> and so, with that being said... It's time uh, to go. It's time to go. Thank you guys for watching. This is Lady TZCD. Uh, with my guests here, my daughter. I want y'all to see her, give, give you guys an update on how she's doing. Uh, let y'all see how mature she's gotten. Uh, she is a wonderful blessing to me. I'm so proud of her. The dean list that she made as a sophomore. This cannot stop talking about that. They framed it. We framed it and put it in my foyer so everybody can see once they walk in because, yes, uh, I'm very excited about it. And so, and my husband is as well. Anything else we want to talk about while you're here? Because she's leaving on Tuesday. And I'll do another one uh, probably when she come back for the holidays maybe or maybe when she become a uh, senior. I don't know when you may want me to do another one. but yeah. We'll update y'all. Yeah, she's doing good. But yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Any other questions? No. Comment down below any questions you have for my mama. Because the next video, she's going to do a Q&A just for herself. That's what she say. But yeah, I, let me yeah. I have to remember that one. <laughs> Look, if y'all want, want to know any questions, ask no. below. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. I love answering see. questions and stuff like that. Thank y'all for watching Lady TZCD. I've uh, enjoyed having this channel. I will be back real, real soon on the regular doing videos, hauls. I used to do hauls, thrift hauls. I'm doing a whole They nine. miss it. And I know, you. I heard some people like, I have comments like, where you been? And what happened to you? And I, I'm, I'm upset because I haven't been watching your videos. I've been, uh, you know, so I, you never know how much people miss you until you're gone. And then you, you know, I'm like, oh, what? I thought of so many gurus and everybody out there but i do have my own little you know followers too so that made me feel good so thank you guys for letting me know y'all miss me and uh please leave a comment thumbs up the video or thumbs down whatever you want to do and uh share if you like and so this again is lady tzcd happy friday peace